Hello, Hello everybody. Wow. Hello, everybody, and welcome to some exciting Bionicle 2015 news. The sets are some exciting Mardi Gras 2015 news. Thank you. You're gonna start doing that just because we have a compilation now, don't you? <laughs> hey, man, you gotta have your priorities straight. We had yeah. to get back into the swing of things, and that includes Mardi Gras. Fine. Okay. Okay. So today we're gonna report to you the, I guess, beginning. It's December, so the Bionicle <coughs> set arrival has begun. They have been posted on Lego Shop at Home with a release date of 1st of January 2015, so you can't buy them yet. However, the most interesting bit of news is that they're beginning to appear on ToysRUs.com. Gali and Pohatu have been posted as of the time of this video's creation. Presumably more are going to follow over the course of the next couple days. They are not available for purchase, but usually when Toys R Us starts this whole thing, you should be able to find them in stores pretty soon, if history repeats yeah. itself. I speculated that they're most likely already in stores. Uh, they, I'm, I'm pretty sure most places have gotten their shipments by now. They're probably just not on the shelves yet. Yeah. So, Pretty much. We here at TTV have several people that are trying to check local stores. I would recommend all you fans do the same starting now. Have we asked X to check his store yet? Because didn't he have a, some friends in... I don't believe we have. High should. places. Yeah, friends in high yeah. places. Yeah, we should. Yeah, uh, we should definitely do that. Um, I know there was an, a layaway option. I don't, I don't know if that was of interest or not. Layaway basically means... Well, you know what it means. For, for anyone who doesn't know what layaway is, it means to basically hold on to a couple of copies for you until it's ready to be sold. Yeah, so it's kind of like pre-ordering without yeah. the pre-order system. With that being said, mm -hmm. add to layaway cart is now grayed out when it wasn't early. Oh, so you can't add it to layaway now. Interesting. Yeah, they took it away. What jeer. <laughs> I wonder if anyone did. <laughs> That'd be I was considering doing it. I mean, it is basically pre-ordering. They reserve a copy for you until you pay the whole thing off. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... You know, it's pre-ordering a toy seems kind of, I guess, like, you, you're going to get that toy when it comes out. That's not going to be a... You say that, but Bionicle is a whole different kind of toy. Yeah, okay, here's here's the deal. That's fair. With Hero Factory Invasion from below, they did a staggered release in my area. What I mean by that is certain stores, like, okay, Walmart had four sets. Target had four sets, but they were different. Neither of the places' shipments overlapped. And nowhere in my area could you get the complete wave. Because those are the only two stores. I have no Toys R Us. If there was the option back in 2013 to pre-order sets and I had known that was going to be the case, I totally would have done it. Because <laughs> I was never able to get a lot of sets I wanted to get because I didn't feel like buying them online and paying shipping. And they just weren't in my area. <laughs> now with Bionicle, I would be very disappointed if they did a staggered launch because it's so big. Especially Toys R Us. I... I can't imagine they would do a staggered launch for Bionicle. Yeah. Maybe for the first wave, just because they're probably not confident in it selling well, but they should be confident it's fly in it selling off well, because it's Bionicle. It's going to fly yeah. off the yeah. shelves. That's true. But I I think that, like, I mean, fly off the shelves is going to be relative to sales beforehand. I have no doubt Bionicle is going to be a successful franchise. But, I mean, we were talking to that guy at the Lego store over in New York, and he said, very rarely do we actually sell out of stuff. And this is the, this is the Lego store in – well, it was in New York. It was in Jersey, right? It was yes. In, uh, it was in, that, it was that store you guys went to. There. Jersey. Frank, wasn't that a new Lego store you guys went to? No. No, no, no. it wasn't. You're thinking of another one in New York that we uh, went for the – Yeah, the, 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 the opening – yeah, the launch party right. was at a new – a brand new store in New York that had just opened. The right. final no, day. This, this store was open. One. Yeah, this, this, this store was in New Jersey. Yeah, the thing in New Jersey, too, is also the guy – I mean, they've been open since the Lego movie got released. And the guy said when the Lego movie got released, it was the only time he's been in the store and they have completely run out of sets. But keep in mind that he said that because they had understocked it because they didn't think they were going to sell. I know. I mean, what I'm saying is that, like, the idea that, you know, pre-ordering just so that your store might run out of copies of a toy – my may or may not have it all depends. it depends it all depends on your store and how confident the store is that they're going to sell yeah it depends on yeah. your area my store never stocked certain sets and never replenished their stock of others yeah yeah meant? same here like my targets have had the same three hero factory sets all year 
<laughs> my Walmarts yeah. have stopped selling Chima and Hero Factory for almost the majority of this year. Right. My my Walmart has done the same. Um, it really my, just depends on individual stores and what they decide to order. My my Walmarts and other assorted stores have not stopped selling any of those things. They have some Hero Factory still on the shelves from uh, what, what was the recent one? Invasion from Below. Mm-hmm. But and I'm really concerned that I'm not going to get them very quickly. Because I live in an area where thing we don't get things very quickly, but I'm confident that as soon as I as they have them, I'll know. Yeah. Because I've been recently checking on everything. You have to be on the hunt. And it was at. Say what? You have to be on the hunt, constant vigilance. Pretty much, I was over at a local Toys R Us, and I, I go up to an employee. I'm in the Lego section. I go up to an employee, and I'm like, "Hey, do you have Bionicle, per chance?" And he's like. Whoa, I haven't heard that in a long time. Man, I, I remember way back in the day, I was such a huge Bionicle fan, and he starts regaling all of these tales of his favorite Bionicle sets, and I'm like, they're everywhere. How <laughs> that happened? Well, it did. It seriously did. He mentioned the Matt. would get that Korok. joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. B- well. Bottom line, they're out there. They're I'm out. sure it's going to sell. Watch I'm sure they're going to be confident. Waiting. I'm pretty sure the reason that we haven't seen them in stores yet is because they're gearing for a total and complete full front release without staggering. (laughs) Toys Toys R Us is going to break the embargo. They always do. Probably. I I know. I think they're just really trying to stick to their work as far as the release date goes. I don't really think there's a big reason to it other than that's just the release date they set and they just want to stick to that. Right. Although I do find it interesting that they wouldn't aim for the Christmas market. That is what confuses me as well. It seems like such a opportune time, but I don't know. Right. I mean, you know, there's probably like a billion production things that we just don't take into account because we don't run a multi-million dollar toy company. Yeah. But. That is also indeed. very true. But yeah. either way, the cake is cut. It's almost to you. And it's going to be fantastic when it arrives. One more month. I am going to buy the heck out of Spiders. One year ago. One year ago, had somebody said, you'll be holding Bionicle sets in your hands in 2015. N- none of us would have believed it. They would, I would have believed it because I have Bionicle sets that I can hold. <laughs> but wow, see, wow. I have over 100. Wow. Yeah. If, if July 1st came around and somebody said, hey, you're going to be holding Bionicle sets in another five months. I would totally believe it. Yeah, I would believe it too, because I, I, you know, I've been oh, holding Bonnie for years. Ben did have that dream. Ben did have that dream <laughs> yeah. where he went into Walmart and saw Tahu. No, he didn't go into Walmart. It wasn't Walmart. Was it wasn't Walmart? Who cares? Idiot. My bad for not Lego remembering store. your stupid dream correctly. Semantics. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Anyway. We'll be doing our best to update you with the status of Bionicle 2015 as it continues to release... As we are getting in the swing of things, as far as regular updates go, again, just released double TTV yeah, today. Like back, Hash- yeah, I, I think that was a mistake. Double TTV, that's like two hours worth of content right there. It's to make us spread that out a bit. No, I, I, yeah, I refuse no, to spread I, that I stuff out fine. anymore. It's been spread out for a month. You also, you Stop see, rebelling, yeah. Meso. I feel like you ruined my Cash Monique joke by making it the title of the episode, too. Really that's passionate. what you wanted! No, uh, if you actually check the episode, I never actually say I want it to be the title. Uh, well, it is now, so stop it. Why do we keep you around? I don't know why. Because of my bodybuilding physique and award winning personality. All right. right. Well, so anyway, a break, it's been fun. Breaking, Mardi Gras. Breaking news before we end. Apparently, today during Lego's stealth update of Bionicle.com, where they fixed a lot of typos and errors and stuff they changed the bit about the protectors passing down their masks from father to son it now reads through the generations the heck does that mean (laughs) what (laughs) what (laughs) what does that mean through the generation. I love how this is like literal breaking news too. Like this is this is literally our first reaction. <laughs> the first time. This is not just a video thing. I what? Oh no, never mind. 
apparently <laughs> they add they did add that line for apparently no reason. But now it says this is a full quote. The protectors wear sacred elemental masks that have been passed down through the generations from father to son. So oh. my my source did not read properly. Okay. Unless it's Never just for mind. certain protectors, which would be odd. But it's a weird line, regardless. Maybe uh, from father to son. That's no, no. really... Shut up. No, no, no. Everybody shut him up right now. I know what he's about to do. Protectors can procreate. Hooray. No, no, that's not what he's going to do. Oh, yeah, there's also the thing which we never talked about where the jungle protector has tails on his feet that let him see the future. <laughs> 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 Actually, hey, hey, you... the jungle protector. <laughs> the jungle protector is like the only one confirmed to have a gender, and that's male. Yeah, it's a censored tail. The tail provides the protector with a sixth sense, allowing him to make predictions about the future. Oh, so no, it's it's like spider sense, right? Is that what they're trying to say? Oh, he says he's making pr predictions about the future. Sometimes they even come true. <laughs> oh. What do you mean sometimes they come true? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know I sometimes can just, I can just be like... That's the, the most useless like future-telling sense ever. <laughs> I can like see you. into the future, and sometimes it comes true. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, that happens to me too. Sometimes it happened, I it happened to true. me in my dream. Yeah. <laughs> I saw into the future. The Bionicle came back in a Lego store, and you got to play around with a bunch of new parts and masks and stuff. Sometimes however, it come true. <laughs> however, that did come true, but not for me. It came true for you guys. Uh -huh. yeah. true. Maybe you're speaking through our eyes. I, you know, I could just imagine the protectors, you know, like handing those the mask down from Father the Son. And, like, one dad calls him son's like, you have the mask yet? He's like, no. Come back when you have a mask. That's not funny. Anyway. It was so hilarious. Hilarious. Anyway, yeah, we should end this. There's also the bit about the jungle protector's weapon. It's called Let's a... Let's end it, Messo. Come on, we can have an entire different video in a, with our reactions. It, we gotta end it's it. It's called an air elemental flame bow. <laughs> an air flame bow. Wonderful Lego. Okay, anyway, we're done here. You, you, yeah, see? You see, I could have saved you from that. This happens when you're fishing for, for, a, for a... For laughs. The cheap yeah. laughs. <laughs> when you're fishing for... Laughs. Uh, 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 <laughs> words. When you're fishing for... <laughs> you're fishing for a fist in your mouth. So, we will talk to you all next time for the next exciting... What is English? For the next exciting Bionicle 2015 update. Where's Viper? I need some help in learning English. <laughs> no. Where's Viper? I said Viper! Bye. You said Viper. No, I didn't! Viper isn't here either. F-I-P-E-R. So. Viper. Bye, everybody. Piper. Piper Chat. Oh, no, let's not bring Hyper back. Hyper, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, that place sucked. Bye, guys. Yeah. I hated the manager. Bye. Yeah. He was that, power new, hungry. that new guy that came in and then changed it to like Empire of Pixels or something. That was stupid.